Hi friends, this is Annette of AnnetteLeonard.com back again with a moment for chronic wellness. Thanks for joining me. It may be sunny outside, but I am going to tell you it feels like it is pouring. And of course, I mean that metaphorically, that whole, you know, when it rains, it pours. And as I explained a few days ago, I am in one of those cycles where it feels like it's a snowball, you know, one thing went wrong, then another thing, then another thing, then another thing, then another thing, then another thing. And it is hard to get on top of um, getting out of that sense that I'm just behind it all and under it all and, and, um, and suffering. And so today's tip is ask for support. I think it is so hard in our society today and there's a million reasons for it. Everything from we weren't raised with examples of how to do it to it's really hard to ask for what we need to um, with chronic illness we feel like we did that maybe at the beginning and now it's years in to a million other reasons that I haven't just listed. And whatever the reason is in your heart, I encourage you to write it down and flush it down the toilet. I encourage you to write down all the reasons and light them on fire. Write down every reason you can think of and bury it in your backyard. Whatever you need to do to get over the blocks or to give yourself permission to ask for the support that you need, just do it. And the reality is, if somebody who was dear to you sent a text saying, I'm really going through it right now, I could use some support, what would you think? I'm telling you what I would think. I, I would think, I love you, dear friend. Do you need it right now? How can I best be of support? What would, what can I do? The, and f for me, oftentimes that's, I could use a meal. I could use somebody to go to the grocery store for me. I could use somebody to text me once a week and just ask how I'm doing. And I'm betting that for you, it could be any of those three things or three other things or six other things that I didn't mention. But if we don't ask for it, people aren't going to know to offer it. So ask for support because just as your heart would be willing to give it to somebody you love, somebody who loves you would be willing to give it. Ask for support. It is the simplest, hardest thing to do. And there are probably people in your life who would happily offer it if they knew what it was you needed and when it was you needed it. And so getting clear from yourself about what it is you do need and when it is you do need it, and then making that inordinately simple, inordinately difficult next step of reaching out and asking for it is my challenge to you today. And even if you're not in the midst of crisis, if this is a skill that you have difficulty with, I encourage you to actively stretch and practice these muscles. Like practice asking for help even when it is not a time of crisis. Practice saying, hey, I could really use a friend. Do you have time to talk this week? even when it's not a week when things feel out of control in your life, the perhaps most especially when they don't feel out of control so that you have those skills to rely on when things do feel out of control, that you're not also practicing high stakes request making at a time when you're also feeling like life is too hard to handle. Reach out, ask for help reach out, ask for help. Thank you for being here. Be well.